What's going on guys? It's me, Firestorm1, and today we are doing part 2 in the Metroid Dread series. I pretty much just posted the Metroid Dread part 1, so if you haven't already, go smash the like button on that. By the time I made this, we are at 29 subscribers, so smash that like button, just destroy that subscribe button to get to 30. We need one more, and the goal of this year is to get to 100, which we're not far off. And let's get into the video. So, in the last episode, we pretty much ended off uh, killing the first Emmy, and now we're pretty much just let to go, uh, able to go pretty much everywhere that we can go. Okay, I'm trying to combo this guy. And yes, I'm definitely trying gonna make another model rocket video. I think tomorrow, and I'm trying to do a. Uh, my another Minecraft 360 video since we ca I kind of want to do one of those and we haven't done one for a while. Might as well do one, so I'm gonna try to do one of those sometime because I do think those are pretty good. So if it does come out, let's get it to be the most viewed one. Let's smash that subscribe button. We are so close to 30 uh, subscribers. And also, I'm thinking of doing another spicy chip challenge. So just keep an eye out for the new videos. I'm definitely going to be working on more of them. Okay, so I'm going to try coming over here. I know we do have to fight the one boss fight. And then you get the one special ability. But I don't really remember we have to go to find him. It's like a scorpion looking thing. I wouldn't say it's a scorpion, but it, it has like a scorpion tail. Ah, I'm a bit rusty. I haven't played this for a little. Okay, so I'm about to die. Just get all that health. Okay, so we haven't been in this spot yet. Oh, it's a save station. So this, we pretty much can save our progress, and it's pretty useful. So if we do die, we don't, like, just completely lose everything. It does, the game does do automatic saves, but not that often, so. Oh, wait, hold up. No, you cannot break that, so... We can't go in these doors yet because you need the charge beam. Which pretty much lets you charge up a big, like, energy ball. It lets you fire a lot stronger bullets. And then you can get one that instead of shooting one, like, one bullet or whatever, I can shoot three at once. Okay. This is the first Emmy. Well, second Emmy. We killed the first one, but these doors, once you go in it, it's like you're in an Emmy zone. But the Emmys can't, like, get out of that zone. So they're in the first Emmy, like, zone. And whenever you go in a new spot, your map updates it. It's pretty useful. So I, I have to go down here. Those blue things, once we beat this Emmy, we get like a magnet that's pretty useful. But the things about Emmys, how they work is they sense your noise. So since I just shot right there, it, it lets the Emmy know that I'm nearby. And the Emmys are possibly infected with the virus and have been hacked, so now they're trying to kill us. Can't hit it. Oh, okay. I wasted a lot of time. And the annoying thing is, so the Emmys, once they sense you, like you can tell, it sense like everything's red. The Emmy found me, 
And once they find me, the it locks the doors so I can't get out. And then once I'm trapped, it'll pretty much just try to find me. It'll scan every spot. And once we go, kept, keep going into the newer Emmys, they get really powerful. Like, one can turn invisible, they can climb. And then these doors, uh, you, can, you can't go in until you have the invisibility power, which we do get soon, I'm pretty sure. I think we are getting close to the boss fight. Okay, so, get this. I can hold two more missiles now. <clears throat> okay, go into this. Uploading data. Both of you encountered were clearly trying to capture you. They may have been hacked. If so, it's reasonable to assume all of you will be possible. So this is pretty much just saying how they fit a hack. Pretty much what they said. Upon detecting vibrations, an enemy enters surveillance mode to track their swarms. Stay out of its line of sight when this happens. Otherwise, the danger to you increases dramatically. An enemy that has seen you will begin pursuit. Part of the pursuit protocol is to seal the enemy's own exits. You will be trapped in some. To survive, you must leave its range of pursuit, evade the enemy, and it will disengage. This will also unseal the exits. The enemy never leaves its assigned zone. Their control system must permit them to operate only within that range. I estimate a 99% probability of death if the enemy captures you. There may be a very small opportunity to escape, but exploiting this window will be virtually impossible. The enemy are immune to your current weapons. You lack the unique energy used to defeat the first enemy. Your only option now is to evade capture and find an exit. Your highest priority in an enemy zone should be simply to survive. So yeah, if they do capture you, there's a super small chance that once they open their thing up to stab you, you can, like, punch it and get out if you spam the one button. But that's very rare. I did it pretty in the beginning when with the first enemy in the last episode. But it is very, very hard. I'm talking like almost impossible, like he said. So we have to break this. Now we can jump up here. We can break that. We can't get that missile tank until we get the one other thing. So this is the Emmy zone again. So this pretty much gives me missiles and everything. Okay. Uh, oh wait, I can't go there. Oh crap, I might have just killed me. Nope. Uh, up there is a special, but I need the one, like, thing that can shoot multiple th uh shots to unlock that door uh oh i mean okay i'm gonna try to get out of here don't know this is confusing i have not i haven't played this Hold for a very long time. Uh oh, I'm dead. Okay, we're gonna. Oh, I messed up. No. Okay, we're gonna spam. Spam. Okay. Uh uh. Nope. Okay, so first time we died. Uh, I messed up pretty badly there. That was not good. Well, let's hope we don't die again. Okay. Uh. Let's go over here. I'm thinking I have to go. No. I honestly don't remember where to go. Think? Oh, whoa! Uh -oh. 
That's a trap. That's a trap. Okay, uh oh. Okay, I'm dead again. Oh, this is hard. Uh, it's very hard. Don't know where to go. Uh. Mm. Well, I am going to. So, the amiibos do work with this game. So, I did just pretty much get a, um, amiibo. I got, they have two version, new ones out that you can get. You can't really tell, but they have Samus. And then they have an Emmy. I just got them. So, they do give you some bonus stuff. So, we're going to scan some. So, I can hold up to 10 more missiles now. So I scan the Emmy, and you can scan each uh, amiibo for pretty much any Metroid amiibo. You can scan once a day to get other stuff. So you're gonna scan Samus. So now I can have an extra 100 health. They do help a lot with this game since it's really hard. And I did, I do have another amiibo. That's kind of like, I've had this one for pretty much a long, long time. So, it is pretty old, but they do, all of the amiibos are pretty cool, so. We'll tr I don't think this one works, though. Something with it, he doesn't really work. So, we did get some decent stuff from that. That does help a lot, though. It doesn't help with the Emmys, though. But it gives health and missiles are pretty useful. Okay, I'm gonna just run. He's following me. Uh oh. Uh. Ooh. Okay, I can go, I can go. I have no clue where I'm going. Oh, I'm Midori. Okay, we made it out. Some guys here. These things are pretty nice. They give you a ton of health. So if you do get this game, I would recommend at least getting one amiibo. <clears throat> like I got a two pack for 30 bucks. They help a lot, especially because like the missiles and stuff are very useful. And you do have a chance of getting like a bonus, like a, I think there's like a charge beam accessory. So you can get some rare stuff. But they always give you, Samus gives you like, I think there's a chance of getting an energy tank and then a f full health retank, uh, like full health back. The energy tanks are like pretty much giving you an extra health. And then the Emmy can give you a, like, all of your missiles back and possibly another missile tank so you can hold more missiles so they help a lot yeah, I'm gonna try to kind of no I don't think I can get that missile tank this water is kind of annoying I think there was a way that you can like drain the water I don't remember though like these missiles are very useful especially for the beginning part of the game because right now I don't have the like charge beam it's so that the missiles are very nice for like boss fights and stuff okay this is a map station it pretty much gives me a bigger map it i don't really use the map much i use it once you get further into the game but i feel like these stations don't do much because you can unlock the map just by going like just running around so we're gonna save my progress, and we're gonna continue. Uh oh. Crap, so wait, did I need to go? 
quickly. I'm gonna check down over here. Okay, so this is an Emmy door. I'm definitely gonna try to remember this, but for the rest of this episode, I think we're gonna look up here. Because I think something might be useful up here. So let's see. Uh oh, it's one of these guys. These guys are pretty easy if you get it right. If you get it right, they're pretty much invincible, so you have to get it perfectly right or they will pretty much destroy you. Got it. Once you get good at the game, it's very easy to destroy those guys. So this boy is kind of useless, so I'm going to go back to the Emmy door. All it was was to get uh, extra two missiles, which are kind of nice. So I'm already at 31. I'm able to hold 31 missiles. That's a lot. That's why I'm saying these amiibos are really nice. And you can use any Metroid related one. So if you have any from like maybe some of the older games, you can still use them. Okay, I remember this one. This part I do remember pretty good. Like I remember it. Uh, yeah, I do kind of forget now. But I remember that you had to. Oh no! It's, I it's right there too. We can hope that I can just. No, we we fail. No, we we're so close to. That was, I was right there. Well, I think that's going to be the end of this video. This video is getting kind of long. So just hit that subscribe button and see you later.